Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Both from the 19th Hole, and I'm here today to do a tournament reveal for the next up and coming main tournament. We got the Easter Open Tournament, and it's going to start on April 15th, uh, so that will be the Monday following the uh, Southern Pines 9 Hole Cup. So this is a little bit of information to help you all get uh, start thinking about that and, and start preparing for that one as well. So as always, we have the four normal divisions, Rookie, Pro, Expert, and Masters. And as below, you can see the, uh, the prizes that you can win uh, from playing in each division. Uh, the weekend bracket is a 100-person bracket, and the prizes do scale down from first place to 100th place. So as long as you make a weekend bracket, you do qualify to win uh, prizes. Keep in mind along the way, during the qualification, opening round, and weekend round, you can win extra chess during the matches. And, uh, you know, rookie, you get uh, Tour 3, Pros Tour 6, Expert Tour 9, and Masters Tour 12. And these chests are better um, are better than the chests that you win in Tour Play. You get more uh, club cards out of them. So definitely that's something to think about as well um, while you are playing your rounds. Uh, and that's definitely a good way to, to, you know, add up the club cards during the tournament play. These are the rules for each tournament uh, level. Uh, they do change somewhat depending on what level you're in. Rookie, Pro, Expert, and Masters. As you can see in Expert and Masters, there is the extra hidden spin uh, rule, which uh, prohibits you from seeing your opponent's spin or uh, ball guide direction. The, uh, the wins do change as you move up the, the, uh, the divisions as well, as do the, uh, the placements of the T. Rookie is the first T. Pro Expert second tee and Masters is third tee. And then the needle speed um, increase does change as you move up the divisions as well, which is the highest is like, let's see, 50%. So definitely 50% increase is quite a bit. So these are the holes that will be offered during the Easter Open Tournament. Uh, it's a combination of Sunshine Glades and Sakura Hills. Uh, four holes from Sunshine, five from Sakura Hills, and uh, now we're going to go in and look at them a little bit closer uh, so you all can get kind of like um, a little bit of a reminder of what, you know, these holes do look like. So, I think my, my video a little smaller, and uh, we're going to go and check out these holes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do a little bit of uh, drawing on these holes to kind of give you all kind of a general... Um, walk through quickly here. So this one right here, uh, you can either can play the rough bump or you can play the shot where you use a uh, backspin and left curl uh, to take it towards the hole. And that's how you would play this shot from either rookie, pro, and expert. Uh, master's division is a little bit different and that one may depend on the kind of wind that you have. So you're either going to play the rough bump here or you can use a club with backspin and left spin, so it's important to use a ball with a good amount of left spin. And um, when I do do the guide videos, I will get a little bit more into ball usage and elevation changes as well. Uh, so definitely make sure to tune in when I do um, put my guide videos out. <clears throat> All right, so moving on to hole number two. And hole number two is uh, from Sunshine Glades as well, and it's a part five. Um, two different ways you can play this hole. And it may depend on the kind of wind that we get. Either you're going to bounce it here and over uh, with the drive, or you're going to take it this way with a power ball, bounce it here and over as well. Um, the difference is the second shot. If you play it left, you have a very nice second shot with the Viper or Sniper to the hole. Good possible chance of the Albatross. If you play it to the right side, I put a little bit more of a curl on your shot, uh, and you'll bounce it right about in there, and then move it towards the hole that way with a little bit of left curl uh, and left spin. So, if you want to go for the albatross, you definitely want to play it to the left, but that could definitely depend on the kind of wind that we get uh, as well. All right, hole number three. This is the first Curry Hills hole, and it's a par three. Um, the main play for this hole is to bounce your shot somewhere in here with your second bounce up in this one right here and then roll it to the hole. Um, 
this is definitely a good chance at the uh, the ace on this hole because uh, it is a pretty wide open shot. Uh, definitely taking a club with some uh, backspin on the shot. And uh, depending on what kind of wind you know we get for the hole, the type of shot possibilities will also vary as well for the hole. Hole number four. Sakura Hills. Uh, this is a par four. And uh, it's really not a tough hole. Um, your two shots are going to go you know, somewhere in here. And then up into this zone right here. You may see some people try to do a power curl shot. Um, that could possibly get them up into this zone right here. For a, uh, a small little uh, like wedge chip or possibly a thorn dunk. But even from this area right here, you will be taking a shot to the uh, to the hole with some backspin. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, if you can get the power curl worked out, you will be in a good spot for the dunk shot with the thorn or the wedge. All right, we got uh, hole number five next. This is a par five. This is a hole that I've seen a lot of people already talking about. Uh, not getting a lot of chances to play. I'm not sure if it's just not available in the tour play or it's just, uh, I don't know, hard to get in the tour play. But basically the ways you can play it is you can play it either hopping your shot here with a lot of top spin and rolling up into this zone here. Or you can take your tee shot to the right, which is the way I play it. You hop it there with top spin and left spin and you roll it out to this zone right here. So from this spot right here, um, you have the option of either going for the uh, the skip shot here. You'll skip it there and roll to the hole. Uh, or even possibly a rough bump from this zone right here uh, is definitely a possibility. And you would take the same exact shot from the left here, either to that zone right there, to the rough bump uh, for a possible shot. So that would be the way you play that hole. Hole number six, Sunshine Glades. This is a par three. Um, this one right here is pretty straightforward. Uh, most people will be taking a skip shot off this little island towards the hole. And I don't believe this is a shot that requires much top spin or back spin. Uh, just you know side spin and uh, you really just want to make sure that you get the elevation correct and the uh, you know maybe a, a little bit of adjustment for the wind push on the hole so pretty easy uh, par three to definitely get the birdie on easily but definitely a par three where the yeah, the ace will be definitely a chance as well uh, hole number seven this is a Sakura Hills hole par three uh, par four um, the drive is going to be up into this zone right here. And then you either have the ability to try to land your shot in this area right here with uh, right curl and right spin. Or you can go for, um, let's see if we can zoom in here. So from this zone right here, you'll either be going for a landing zone in this zone right here to roll it in that way with uh, right curl and right spin, or you can go for the rough bump right there and possibly get the eagle that way. This is definitely a tough eagle hole, and the hole you'll probably get mostly be getting birdies on. All right, we got uh, the next hole here is hole number eight, Sunshine Glades, par three. Your, uh, your landing zone will depend on the wind uh, for higher level divisions. You'll probably be dropping um, a Thor or a Rocket, you know, with uh, right spin and uh, back spin from there. Uh, lower divisions where you're going to use a, um, a wood, you'll be playing your shot from in here with a similar type of play for the shot. The screen does slope uh, backwards, so Definitely be sure that you use the correct spin adjustment for this one. Um, and it does also slope down like this as well. So you definitely don't want to roll past the hole. 
because it, it will stop just on the edge of the fringe and leave you a pretty uh, severe putt uh, to try to salvage your birdie. And the last and final hole, hole number nine. Um, oops, went out of it by accident. Hole number nine. Depending on what kind of a wind you have, uh, you may have to land your shot here with full topspin and try to bounce it over um, the sand to this one right here. Or if you have tailwind, you'll be landing your shot up in here and bouncing it over uh, to a much better area up in there. And that really just going to depend on the vision you're playing and the kind of wind that you get. From there, you're going to have a shot to an elevated a T box, um, elevated um, green. But uh, you're going to play it still probably as a downhill shot because the shot from the um, the fairway sections is still going to be higher elevation. But this area right here is elevated down. And then this whole area right here is a slope back up to the green. So definitely uh, pay attention to that. So definitely an interesting shot. Um, if you do have to lay up at the edge of this area for some reason, you can play a wood shot where you bounce it off the front edge of this and up to the green. So definitely still have the chance to uh, get there for the eagle if you do have to lay up. Uh, but this is also another um, good albatross chance so I apologize for the voice but uh, we're doing what we can do and it's it's actually a little bit better than it was yesterday uh, for those that uh, watched my my video from yesterday so there is some improvement so that is the Easter uh, open tournament um, info video hopefully you all will tune back in for the actual guide where I will get a little bit more in depth on club ball and elevation uh, change um, so definitely check me out back for that video if you haven't ever uh, watched my videos definitely appreciate you tuning in uh, hit the subscription button uh, and also set up your notifications so you can be alerted when I do release new videos all right y'all take care have a good day God bless good luck to y'all in the uh, southern pines nine hole cup and also the eastern open tournament